Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you an application I am starting to build. Uh, it is uh, supposed to be an application uh, that will enable users to buy in different mm -hmm. stores from a single application. In this case, we only have the implementation for AliExpress and as you can see over here in the documentation uh, of the AliExpress API, uh, we can see some example uh, on how to use it. This is exactly how I use it in the app. Okay, you can play around and see uh, all the documentation in case uh, you are interested. I am just going to handle this example for now. I am also going to show you some packages that I use in the app that I would strongly recommend you. Uh, the first one is the Flutter Launcher icons. Uh, you can use it to set the initial icon for your application in case you don't know. Uh, well, you can see over here all the implementation. And the other one is the Flutter Native Splash that we provide you with an with a splash screen, you can set an image, and as you can see over here, you just need to add uh, this file and run this command over here. But you also need to specify, no, uh, that was a mistake, well, yes, but you need to specify the location for the file. I will show you uh, right now how to do that. Let me uh, show you the application. Uh, as you can see over here, we have different products uh, from Aliexpress uh, with the price included, the description of the product, so to say, or title, and the image. Uh, the Aliexpress API only allows for 20 uh, requests, uh, that is the maximum amount. Let me show you the code. Okay, we are going to start by the main screen. Uh, as you can see, we have a small, uh, just a few lines of code. This is the recommended way to do it, not too much in the main file. Uh, this is the title, multivide. If we go to the home page over here, we don't have uh, too much uh, near either. Uh, here, over here, we have a list view builder with, uh, well, yes, uh, we get, we have first a future builder that will get a list of Aliexpress models. Uh, those are, <coughs> I should actually call this uh, Aliexpress uh, items. So I am going to replace all our in the app, I'll express item, item, well, yes, plus a, yes, that's it, yes, we are having an error over here, and that is, let me see, I can see error, well, I don't see error, any place near here I don't see any error let me, let me restart the application problems in the constant identifiers let me check yes, uh, okay. We just need to put this to lower case and this one over here, this also. Okay, we don't have any problem in the application, everything is perfect so far. So let me continue to show you the app. Okay, over here we have 
uh, some testing uh, map uh, of the this is a sample of response from the API because we have a limited number of requests uh, to do to the API because we are also uh, we are all, we are in the free plan and over here we have the AliExpress item this is a model where we get uh, we get uh, all the information but in this case as uh, as classes or models and uh, the way it is called let me show you how to uh, do this uh, faster I strongly recommend you to use QuickType QuickType.io okay QuickType allows you to <coughs> to do everything to do things faster as you can see over here I have I already have uh, the JSON file and this uh, website takes care of creating the model uh, for me so for instance this was the previous one so if I try to do a like Aliexpress item it will change over here as well in the glass and I have uh, these two ones uh, selected you can get all this without uh, taking too much time so these are my recommendations to you <coughs> flutter launcher icon flutter native splash and <coughs> quicktype.io in case you don't know uh, this website and when you get all this uh, out of the work maybe some uh, fixes that you might need to add uh, some problems that you may encounter with uh, inter types, double types, and that kind of stuff. But those are those are just minor fixes. And here we have the code to request the information to the API. Well, this is the commented code, but it is the same code but in JavaScript. Okay, so we have a commented. Uh, all we have the URL, the type of request, the get request, the headers, and well, yeah, all that is the response. So, as headers, as URL, um, we have a condition over here if uh, we are in the book mode, we are just going uh, to use uh, the items from the AliExpress these items let me check we are going to take these items over here that i show you previously and if we we are not in the book mode then we can use the real ones in this case it is fixed to get let me show you because we have a carry over here that says uh, to search for xiaomi in the first page so that's it we get all the necessary information I will already show you the models the test uh, the home page the main and now as I previously told you the flutter native splash so this is the splash uh, the splash screen configuration that I have uh, to be able to use the package nothing more just this and as analysis while well, this one comes included with a uh, from version 2.5 of Flutter let me show you the asset folder when well, the asset folder I have the background image uh, the background image.png and the icon.png these are the same one so this is it nothing more over here and in case uh, you wanna uh, change the common default title of your app I'm going to show you in the Android manifest you just need to change the label over here for iOS you just need to go to the info.plist let me show you In the info please you have uh, the name also 
in case you don't like the default one because that requires everything to be lowercase and maybe uh, you don't want uh, the name of your app in lowercase okay this is it we have we are also let me show you the package I forgot uh, this part we are using the cache network image Cupertino icons equitable well in this case this is not uh, being used right now the flutter spin kit to show the loading indicator and the HTTP package to make the request to the API the lower package to better print the errors in the console <coughs> and the flutter launcher icons as a development dependencies as a developer dependencies and flutter links flutter net flash that's it let me show you let me see if i have it over here to be able to show you how this is done okay we can this is the command to uh, really uh, to make to with the application and to create the net splash we just need to run a command uh, just similar to this one we have the create we have the pass to the uh, to the image to the background image in this case and uh, let me see and the, for the flutter launcher icons this is the command that we need to run in the console <coughs> so this is it uh, I, I think this has been enough uh, I'm pretty sure that you can see <coughs> everything uh, that you need uh, over here if you need to rewind and see it as many times as you wish uh, you can do it I hope you like the video and please uh, if you really love it uh, subscribe to my channel in case you have not and see you next time